Welcome to IT Boost YouTube channel. In this video, I am going to show how to make a simple rotate animation in AutoCAD. I have opened a new drawing in my AutoCAD. Here, I am for the animation, I am going to show how to rotate a wheel. So simply first I will draw a wheel. To draw that wheel, I will select my circle tool. I will click on the circle tool and I will give the center point of the circle and a radius I will give around 5. It's not a big issue. Yes, you can give a radius according to you. And I will select another circle and the quadrant point I will circle another circle. The radius I will give 0 0.7. Now I am going to array the small circle, polar array using polar array. So I will click array, polar array. I will select this small circle, press the enter key. For the base point I will click here. And the number of items, number of items I will give 18. You can give item number of items according to you. So I will give 16. Right, that's fine. Now I will trim that one. I will select the trim, trim tool and press enter. Trim. Press the enter key. So I can trim the uh, trim. Enter. So if it is an array, better to explode this one because it's not trimming. So click trim. Enter. No, it's not trimming. So it is an array. It's a group of objects. So we will explode that one. So select the array group. Go to home. Here you have the explode tool. Click explode. Right. Now it's exploded. Now we can easily trim. Click trim. Press the enter key. Click trim. Right click enter. We will trim simply to make a wheel. Simple wheel. So if we can make the teeth of the wheel like this, we call the teeth of the wheel in terms. All right. So I will make a small hole on the center of the wheel also. So I'll select a circle. And a hole, yeah. and just move from this quadrant point one in length, and the offset just to make a point uh, point three. You can give your measurement according to you. So line. So when you make this run, we can clearly see the rotations that's why I'm putting this right and I'll click extend enter and I'll extend this one again I will click trim and right click enter right so simply I made my uh, wheel so I, I'm going to rotate two wheels we'll see how to rotate two wheels so I'll make a copy of this one so select the whole thing and click copy and just move it close by the copy of this wheel. Right. Now I am going to group these two wheels separate. So to do that one in your command line, you can type G. G means group. Enter. So you will have two options. You can give a name and the description. So the name is must. Description is optional. So we, we are not going to give a description, but we are going to give a name for the identification. So I will click the name on the name. Now enter the group name. So I will enter W1. So it's mean wheel 1. You can give any name without spaces. I will give wheel 1 simple. So the name is W1 and press enter and you have to select the object. So simply carefully select the object, the wheel 1. I make sure not to select this one. Press enter. So I have made this one as a group wheel 1. Again this one I will type G for the group enter 
you can click on the name or you can type in also uh, in also for the name and i will type w2 for the wheel name wheel 2 enter and select the object so carefully i will select the object not to select the others and press enter so i made two groups now if you want you can select this one a little bit uh, closer you can move it if you want you can rotate that one also so uh, something like this right so it's right now i'm going to make the animation so when the wheel rotate one side clockwise other wheel should be rotate anti clockwise so i'm going to make that one so to make an animation we have to write a small script so to write a small script in your command line type notepad right type notepad enter and press enter press twice the enter key so the notepad will be get open you have to type notepad and you have to press enter twice so here i am going to type a script so the script i say rotate enter so you are going to rotate a group so g g mean rotate group what is the group name w1 so first you are going to rotate the wheel one that's why i put rotate g w1 press two line spaces here the line spaces and the character spaces are very important so here there are no character spaces here i have no line space in this but here you have a line space so take a line space and we have to specify the rotation base point so it, it had to rotate from this base point so we have to give the coordination xy coordination of this point so to find out that xy coordination in the command line i will type id and click the specify the point so you'll get the xy coordination so this is the x and y i'll select there and copy and i'll give the xy coordination remove this x and y make sure there are no correct spaces yeah come on so this is the first rotation it had to be rotated once clockwise press enter again rotate g group wheel 2 and the coordination of that center point wheel 2 so i'll go id enter specify the center point of that wheel that is the x and y coordination for the base point so i paste it here i'll go back and remove right bottom x and the y and it's go it should be rotated anti clockwise so i'll put minus 1 and finally i'm going to finish the script r s c r i p t r script you have to put r script right here make sure that is important the spaces the line spaces here there is no correct spaces here there is a line space you should have to keep the line space right no any other two in two places there are line spaces no correct spaces Character spaces mean something like this, or all uh, right, or something like this. So avoid that one. As it is here, no another line. That is also important. Not another line here, right? Make sure. Now I am going to save this one file. Save as you can save it wherever you want. So I will save it that one in my desktop. Desktop. I'll give a name. You can give any name. Wheel. Dot ser. The file extension is ser. You have to give. That is important wheel a file name dot scr script file i have to say that is a script file scr now close it now if we finish simply if we finished our script now in your notepad type scr and press enter so it will open the browser select the saved one wheel and press open so you can see that is a rotation it's there is a uh, small mistake and i think so so rotate g1 w2 now here the ids went wrong the id is something went wrong it cannot be like this uh right i think this again i'll check the id so id the first point i think the first point went wrong oh yeah that is 14 and 12 right that is 14 and 12.6 
six one two or write something like that fourteen. Again, I'll check the ID. Right. Now I will save this one. The ID went wrong here. Here twenty five. We'll check that one. ID is went wrong. I will save it. The command line. I type ID. We'll check the second ID. Twenty five. And five one one four. That is correct. The X and the Y. Right. Okay. I'll save this one now. And again, I'll type SCR. Press enter. I'll select the wheel, and I'll open. Again, some mistaken. Uh, rotate G W one. The ID again. I will check the ID. Uh, rotate. Ah, uh, yeah, I made a spelling mistake. Rotate. So it's very important, right? So rotate. So I made us right now. It's fine. So save. Rotate G W two. Okay. We'll see. I think it will be right. Now here. SCR enter select the wheel and open right now here it's rotated now press your space bar continuously here press the space bar continuously it's rotated so if you want to increase the speed of this rotation i can make it 5 and 5 and i'll click save okay. and again Load the file. Press Escape, S C R, Enter. Will open. Now see. Press the space bar, so it increase the speed. If you want to decrease the speed, one here I'll make this one uh, 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 six, right? And I'll make this one three. So when this one rotates twice only, this will be rotated once. So here it's both are equal size. Just for if the wheel size is small, half of this it will go like that, no? So we'll see. So again, I'll press Escape, S C R, Enter, select the wheel and open. Now press the space bar. Now you can notice, right? When this one rotates two times only here, this will be rotated once. So the wheel one is faster than two times faster than the wheel one. Right. So like that, you can make animations in AutoCAD also. So try this one. I hope you enjoyed the video and learn how to make a rotate animation in AutoCAD. Please subscribe us to encourage and like us and comment your feedbacks also. Thank you.